Demons. The concept has been around since the earliest ages of mankind. Otherworldly, non-human creatures whose sole purpose is to antagonize and cause harm. But the question is, why? Where did this idea come from? Could such creatures actually exist, or is it just man's deeply ingrained fear of being blamed and held responsible for his own action? Yes, Miss Mason. <laughs> well, man has always looked for a way to avoid his responsibilities. And what better way to do that than to take the devil made me do it and expand it to a larger scale? Peter Binsfeld took this idea and stripped it down to its basics. Very well said. I had planned on touching on Binsfield later in the lecture, but... So, in 1589, the German bishop and theologian Peter Binsfield created a classification of demons, wherein he posited that for each of mankind's evils, there was an assigned demon. A demon for each sin, if you will. Similar to the four humors, Binsfield thought that each person sinned differently, depending on which of the different demons they were affected by, and that through ritual, said demons could be brought forth. This is, of course, largely metaphorical. Like, have you seen all the empty seats around us? Come on, you guys didn't have to take a religious studies class to me. You should have known what you were getting into. Well, selling my soul and converting to Wicca, we'll have to wait. It's not like that. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I gotta get to psych recitation. Oh, well, text us later if you want to hang out. Oh, I can't. I'm uh, hanging out with Brad. He's taking me to the city for our anniversary. Ugh. Hate that. Brad. Aren't you happy to see me? No, no, yeah, of course okay. I am. Are you fucking kidding me? Who are you? I'm his girlfriend. Who the hell are you? Wait, girlfriend? I am so sorry. You didn't. He told me that you broke up. I am so sorry. Just I, go. I didn't know. Jen. Don't say a goddamn word. I wasted five years on this relationship. Five years of you standing me up, treating me like shit. You know, I I always thought it might end like this, but I didn't think I would have to see it. Jen, Did I say I was done? That's five fucking years of my life, Brad. And I never once looked at another guy as anything more than a friend. I hated myself for even thinking about it. I don't know what possessed me to think that you would do the same. Tonight, though, I mean, tonight really was just your finest work yet. I mean, ditching me on our fucking anniversary, leaving me alone in a parking lot for two fucking hours like an idiot while you were busy with that. Just tell me why. I don't know. How long? It's just a couple weeks, Jen. Fuck. Let me rephrase the question, then. How many were there before her? I don't know. You expect me to keep track? Fuck 
you, Brad. I'm done. Jen, what happened? Brad and I are done. <laughs> does your invitation still stand? Oh, of course it does. Come here, baby. Okay. <laughs> I just don't get it. I mean, I wasted so much time on that asshole, and I knew that he was out there treating me like shit, but I just... How did it take me this long to wake up? I know. I know it sucks, Jen, but we've all been there. I mean, you just gotta find someone else. I mean, you've been with the same dude for like half a decade. I mean, you know what they always say. The best way to get over someone is to get under someone else. Exactly, exactly. Oh, that's why I fucking love you. But Jen, I mean, you just, you just gotta meet a guy and you know, someone who's always been there for you. I mean, we'll always be there for you. I don't know. I think I just need a break from guys for a while. You know, I, some time to focus on myself might be good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, being totally alone isn't always a bad thing. Oh my God, who the hell am I kidding? I'm gonna be alone forever! <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's not, I didn't mean it. Smooth, dude, smooth. I got this. A gen. Jen. Jen. They're not gonna be alone forever. I mean, uh, there is a much, much better dude out there for you. You know, it, destiny and all that shit. Look, I'll prove it to you. You okay, babe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ed, do you want me to do a reading for you? Oh, okay. So I can't console but your stupid tarot cards can. You know, I go sit in the corner if you want to be a downer child. No, 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 no. The floor is yours, Emmelyn. I want to see this. Oh, thank you. I need my space. All right, the lovers. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, your love is a crucial point in your life right now. Is that like about me and Brad or is that like a future thing? I can find out. Do you want me to flip this one? Uh, five of Swords represents cruelty. Someone was dishonorable towards you. You're seeking vindication, revenge. Three of Swords. You're in an intense state of heartbreak and sorrow. The Tower. What's the Tower? It's, it's a bad omen. It predicts tragedy, bad times. Fuck it. <laughs> what do the cards know, right? This one. Um, you said it represents revenge? Yeah, yeah, but Jen, don't read too much into it. I mean, it's just a stupid card reading. Um, it can mean any number of things. What if that's what I want? I want to hurt him. Like he hurt me. Revenge isn't the way to go, Jen. <laughs> you know that. Why not? What? No, seriously, why not? I mean, Jen's been through enough. Why should we sit idly by while this asshole who dragged her through God knows what gets off scot-free? 
Did you know that a long time ago, men were actually afraid to cheat on women? They thought women had magic and would use these powers to punish them for their infidelity. I mean, maybe they had the right idea. Um, can I talk to you in the kitchen? No. Um, no, that's a horrible idea. Why not? Chances are it's not gonna work anyway. We might as well give it a try. Um, because you know better than to go mess around with shit that you can't understand. Okay, I get what you're saying, I really do. But this douche hurt my best friend and this is the only way I can help. I'm not exactly an expert in boy trouble. Yes, but fucking around with the occult goes far beyond stupid revenge fantasies. Okay? Threefold rule. I mean, any energies that you put out there come back to you three times as strong. Hey, I hate to butt in, but, um, what's going on? I want to help you get back at Brad using magic. <laughs> magic? What, you mean like, like putting a hex on him or something? <laughs> oh, you're, you're serious. I know how it sounds and there's no guarantee it's gonna work. Yeah, cause it's magic. Theoretically, it's no different than any regular spell. Oh, yeah, magic. Um, excuse me, but there is a huge difference between a regular herbal spell and ritualism. I mean, curses, you're talking black magic. Now. No, not. And what's the difference between old school ritualism and new age magic? They're both not real. They're exactly the same. It's just a matter of intent. I can't believe this conversation is actually happening. I don't know. I mean, it, it sounds crazy. I know. I know how it sounds, and if you need to take some time to think about it, go ahead. Yeah, I, I'll definitely sleep on it at least. I don't think I should be making any major decisions tonight. Well, the guest bedroom is yours, and Charlie can sleep on the couch. You know, we've been friends for a while. We can share a bed if we need to. Yeah, keep dreaming. I will, but you'd interpret it. Thanks, Emma, for everything. What are friends for? I mean, granted, you're probably not gonna remember any of this in the morning, but if you do, please consider my offer. I will. Go get some rest. You're gonna be one of our worst customers. Oh. Hey. Morning. <laughs> so did you think it over? Yeah, I did. Oh shit. And? <laughs> I was in a really bad frame of mind last night. I barely remember the things that I said, but what I do remember, I didn't mean. I mean, come on, revenge would not look good on me. I think I should probably just focus on moving on, you know, getting over it. Well, you're a bigger person than I am. Have a seat, I'm making breakfast. Jen. Do it. <laughs> Succubi. Demons that take the visage of beautiful women to seduce unsuspecting men and drag them to hell. Female counterparts to incubi, who appear as attractive males. Um, she... There was this fam... Family. Family, uh... Yeah, she had to, she had to she go. She was on her period. It's an emergency. Yeah, it was lady. Uh, she thing. needed lady things. Lady, yeah, tampons. Fuck out of my way! Hey, it's Emma. You know what to do. Hey, dude, where are you? Are you feeling all right? You never miss Hardee's. Just call me back. Let me know everything's oh, good. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Good. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> okay. Hardy's lecture gave me an idea when we said succubi. I just figured let the punishment for the crime, and I just like it's really. You're a ten. You do the three. So Hardy was talking about succubi. When he said that, it, it gave me an idea. You know, um, um, uh, Brad's a self-centered asshole who has dragged his dick through a Starbucks full of women, so why not play off of that? Why not summon a succubus and just fuck him up that way? Uh, what? OK, so just to be clear, you want to summon a sex demon to have sex with my ex-boyfriend and then but give him demon crabs or UTI from hell? Yeah, basically. Are you high? Don't be a dick, Charlie. Come on, I'm being serious here. I found a summoning spell. Oh, 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 a summoning, a summoning spell. Naturally, well, that, that just okay. changes everything. Even if you didn't sound like a total lunatic right now, which to be totally clear, you absolutely do. Yeah. Would it work? I mean, no, probably not, but wouldn't it be just fucking cool if it did? So the spell, I mean, like, what is it called for? You gotta be fucking kidding me. What, what? does it need? It needs, uh, needs to be under, done under a full moon. Um, herbs, lots of standard junk, you know, most of it I have at home. Um, picture of Brad. I can pick up whatever else I need at the Wicca Emporium later. Oh, that's so funny. I have a membership there. Oh, really? Uh, fuck you. Uh, and I'm really sorry about this. What? So all of the ones that I have found call for, and I quote, menstrual blood. Oh. No, no. Specifically yours. No. No, that's, I'm out. That's my cue. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. I'll see you guys in like four months or when we fucking graduate. I don't know. Have fun. So if I were you, I'd start saving your tampons. Dude, not sanitary. Oh, come on. I mean, you can back out at any time. It is your decision. Fine. Good. Cool. Okay. Full moon is next week, and I think Mother Nature is paying you a visit in a couple days. Oh, Emma, come on. Oh, come on. We're friends. Come on. Are you kidding me? Kim didn't approve of a curse. I mean, if she knew I was trying to summon a demon, there'd be hell to pay. So, what's the most important thing about tonight? Don't, Don't tell, tell Kim. Kim. Really, dude? Come on, I was excited. Are you ready? As ever. Close your eyes, clear your head, and repeat after me. Great Lilith, we invoke thee. Great Lilith, we invoke thee. Connect us with your lust, your life, your power. Connect us with your lust, your life. Your power. We empty and ready ourselves for you. We empty and ready ourselves for you. Through blood, we are one. Through blood, we are one. Let the light of these candles burn brightly to guide your way. Let the lights of these candles burn brightly to guide your way. 
I'll be right here to help you, but the rest is on you. Just tell her what you want and be respectful. Uh, Lilith. I come to you with a request. I've been broken by a man, a boy. I've been lied to, cheated on, disrespected. If you would I want to hurt him like he hurt me. I want him to feel pain that I feel. If you would come to us and um, divinely intervene. I'm sorry, divinely. okay, stay focused. Okay. <laughs> Lilith, please receive this offering. Lilith, please receive this offering. I give it to you truthfully and willingly. I give it to you truthfully and willingly. And then the picture. I am here to seal my fate with blood. I testify to her right to my body and my soul. I call her to appear before me. I am here to seal my fate with blood. I testify to her right to my body and my soul. I call her to appear before me. With blood I feed you, with blood I bind you, with blood I give you life. With blood I feed you, with blood I bind you, with blood I give you life. And on the blood. Fire it up. Throw it right in there? Yeah, and cook well. What the hell, man? We did everything right. I mean, you said it was a long shot anyway. At least we tried. You know, it's fucking lame. And I, I don't, I don't feel so good. Jenna? Shit. Jenna! Jenna, are you okay? Jenna, come on, it's okay. Wake up. Come on. Okay, let's go. It's fine.
Uh, Jenna, are you okay? Yeah, I think. What happened? We were just out for a walk and- We went to the Black Woods to try and summon a succubus to get revenge on Brad. I'm sorry, what? We didn't want to tell you because we didn't want you to worry, I'm sorry. What? It didn't work anyway. Okay, fine. I took her to the woods, we tried a summoning spell, but nothing happened, and Jenna's fine. Jenna is in a hospital bed. She's fine. She just inhaled the fumes or something. I'm okay, Kim, really. <laughs> Babe, wait. Sorry. It's fine. You okay? Yeah, go. I shouldn't have said anything. I told her the truth. She can't really blame you for that. Science Kim would have found out sooner or later. Yeah, I guess so. So you really believed Emma's occult shit, huh? What can I say? Girl's <laughs> persuasive. I mean, I didn't really think anything was going to happen, but I mean, also. What? I don't know. The moment before I blacked out, there was this weird noise. It was like a ringing noise. And then there was something else. It was like a woman singing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's called a hallucination. <laughs> and uh, you were breathing in fumes from like God knows what. Just, just be glad you're okay. Mm. Listen, the doctor's gonna be back in a second, and if you're okay, he said you're free to go. Which means you'll be out just in time for Hardy's midterm. <laughs> Fuck, that's today! Mm hmm oh, You know, all of a sudden I'm feeling really faint. Today. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Study up. Kim. Wait up. Kim, did you really think that I wouldn't find out about this? Really? Well, honestly, Kim, no, I didn't. What do you want me to say? I didn't say anything so we could avoid all this, and I knew you'd react this way. Oh, so I'm overreacting? I, I told you one thing, Em, one thing. I told you not to fuck around with black magic, and you go and do a summoning spell to try and summon a demon? I, I, I've done summoning spells before, Em. They don't end well, ever. What are you talking about? Look, a few years before I met you, my friends and I were fucking around with black magic. It's a joke. Okay, we tried to summon a demon because we thought it was gonna be fun, like kid shit. I mean, we didn't think it would actually work. Turns out it did. And it made our lives a living hell for a while. It ended up costing my best friend his life. That's what got me into action magics. Em, trying to get rid of an actual demon that we summoned by accident. You never told me that before. Yeah, because I don't like talking about it. I mean, if I did, would you have even listened to me? No. You're reckless, Em. You think that you're invincible, but you're not. <laughs> And you put Jenna in harm's way too. I mean, you guys are just lucky that nothing happened this time. I don't want to be around the next time when your plan blows up in your face. I won't be around that again. What are you saying? I'm saying, I don't know. I just need some time to think.
are you? You know, you're not at all like I pictured you'd be. I'm, I'm, I'm not, what? I don't know, I pictured someone a bit more, you know, short, geeky. You're not exactly the type of girl who would need someone like me. I, th I think you have me confused for someone else. You're Jenna Collins, right? How did you? Right, thought so. So like I was saying, you're nothing like my usual clientele. So I'm curious, why exactly did you bring me here? Bring you here? Blood ritual, tampons, ringing any bells. Okay, uh, maybe this will help. <clears throat> Wait, you're, you're not, uh, you're not a succubus. Succubus, yeah. My name's Lily, short for Lilith, but seriously, you just call me Lily. Yes, I am really a demon. No, I don't really look like this, but I figured bombshell college senior would be easiest for getting the job done. Honestly, Jenna, I figured you knew what you were summoning given the amount of prep that went into that ceremony. Unless you would help? Okay, well, if it's not you, then I want to know whoever has that kind of know-how. Okay, okay, you clearly need a minute. I tell you what, let's go for a walk. You can tell me all about this guy, how he fucked you over, so I know how to fuck him. <laughs> over. Uh, God, it was ridiculous, and then he had the nerve to get mad at me, as if I was in the wrong, even though I caught him literally fucking another girl. Jen, men are only good for one thing. Can I call you Jen? I'm gonna call you Jen. Jen, men are good for only one thing. Subservience to women. <laughs> I don't really think about it though. There are playthings. Have fun with them and then throw them away. Let me tell you, I have been around a long time and I have never met a guy who's good for anything other than a good fuck. Okay, but what about like, I don't know, having children? Oh, honey. Wait, so you never have to worry about becoming pregnant? Oh, God, no, that's such a human concern, no. My job is to fuck guys. Oh, sure, yeah, okay. Wait, I never asked. How did you know that it was me? You had never seen me before. How did you know to follow me? Blood bond, bitch. You feel that little tingling sensation down in your badge? Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, let's get down to business. I wanna see who I'm dealing with. I wanna see that asshole who broke your heart. This guy? You've got to be kidding me. I'll have him begging for it in less than a week. Yeah, you know, I don't know. It doesn't really make sense to me. Yeah. I don't But so, why haven't I seen you around before? How a girl as hot as you escape my notice? Maybe you were just too focused on your girlfriend. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah, right. You know, I saw you talking to her. Why did she tell you? Enough. <laughs> and yet, here you are. That's interesting. I would have thought. You know, never mind. Passive in the past. <laughs> you wouldn't have seen me anyway. I just moved here from downtown. <laughs> right? For an old time. Okay. You know, you can really judge a diner by whether or not they serve fried pickles. Am I right or am I right? Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, right, definitely. You know, I gotta say, I've never met a girl who is comfortable enough to eat so much on a first date. The confidence is kind of sexy. Brad, you can't postpone joy. If you want something, you just take it. I just happen to be a girl who knows what she wants. And right now, what I want is food and you. My place on? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Oh my god, it lives. What? What happened? Well, you tell us. You were on another planet just now. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I totally spaced out. That was weird. Um, I've been feeling weird for a couple days. I'm not sure. I think I'm just like coming down with something. What, like coming down with a coma? 
Are you sure you're okay? Do you want me to like take you home or anything? Oh, no, no, no. That's that's totally fine. I got it. I, I think I'm still just kind of like bouncing back. You know, just need to sleep it off. Um, I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Uh, feel better, bitch. Oh, thanks, slut. Come on in. <laughs> Do you mind? By all means. You good? No, it's nothing. Okay. It's just... Miss Jenna... I'm sure she probably told you by now everything that happened between us. In a very colorful way, yeah. It made you seem like quite the monster. You still had sex with me. That's... <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm my own girl. I don't let the opinions of others dictate what or who I do. Besides, I know a thing or two about monsters myself. I don't know. I just can't help but feel a little guilty. <laughs> Baby, it's a little late for that. <laughs> no, I just mean she makes a new friend, and the first thing I do is sleep with her. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> I have a problem. That's an understatement. <clears throat> but, like... It's her fault, too, though, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, the kind of pressure she was putting on me. Do you know her dad was actually talking to me about proposal ideas over Christmas? I mean, for fuck's sake. You were scared. It happens. Probably for the better anyway. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Let me take your mind off of her. I'll take you somewhere where you won't even think about you. Ah! 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 What the fuck? Come on, Brad. Don't you know spitters are critters? Slow down. What are you talking about? I don't even, even know how to say this. It's gonna sound crazy. It's okay. Just let me be the judge of that. It worked. Okay? It worked. What do you mean it worked? Still, it fucking worked! <laughs> Jen, that's, that's not possible. I saw her, okay? I fucking talked to her! Are you fucking joking with me right now? Have you seen the news? No! Town rocked by tragedy tonight as the body of local student Brad Coleman has been found brutally murdered in his campus apartment. Police haven't disclosed any further details yet, but Coleman's roommate stated that he found the boy's body severely mutilated in his bedroom. Police haven't disclosed whether or not said roommate has been ruled out as a suspect. Now back to you, John. Okay, uh, what the actual fuck? Dude, I thought it was just a bad dream or something, but it's like she was in my head. I watched it happen. This is because of us, Emma. What the fuck did we do? I don't know, Jen. I thought she was just going to give him an STD or something. Just mess with him. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean you watched it happen? I don't know. It's like I was seeing it through her eyes or something. It's like I saw them on a date together last night. I saw her rip him apart while I was asleep. Okay, so this is like the uh, the, the sex demon thing, right, that you guys summoned with the, uh, the tamp tampon blood ritual? Jen, you're stressed. You're grieving now. That shit can give you all kinds of fucked up dreams. Charlie, I saw him fucking die and now he's dead. Okay, it's a coincidence, probably. Like, this, some animal probably got him. What? You're saying that's somehow more far-fetched than the succubus did it? Seriously? What's up, bitches? Who the fuck are you? Oh, uh, right, sorry, human customs. Um. Hi, guys. I'm Lily. Huh. 
I just figured you would have mentioned me by now or something. She, you're succubus. Wow, it's not at all what I was picturing. What were you picturing? Wait, you're the Wiccan, aren't you? I knew you had help. There's no way someone as great as her could have done such a complicated spell on her own. I gotta say, I'm impressed, girl. That took a ton of skill. Oh, thank you. I know, thank you. It's been so long since I've been topside. Um, not for nothing, but how did you know where I lived? Oh, um, she and I have a little connection. I got a tingle saying she was thinking about me. Tingle? Yeah, little buzzing feeling between my legs. Anyway, I did it. Yeah, we saw the news. That was you? Oh, yeah, that was me. I was going to wait to tell you guys until tomorrow, but I could barely contain myself. You guys should have heard the noises he was making. It was like, oh, 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 so good. Oh, 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 wait. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I made sure to let you tune in. Hope you enjoyed the show. Speaking of which, anyone got a beer? Letting come, not a good combination. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyone have any toothpicks? <laughs> okay, what's wrong? I come here with good news and you all look like your mom died or something. <laughs> Um, she didn't want you to kill him. I... What? Yes, she did. You wanted me to kill him, right, Jen? <sighs> I don't... I don't get it. If you didn't want him dead, what was the point of bringing me here, exactly? I mean, succubus. Fucking and killing is kind of what I do. I mean, what exactly did you expect? I thought you were just gonna break his heart or something. I did. When people summon me, it's because they want something or someone dead but don't have the balls, sorry, ovaries, to do it themselves. I thought this was what you wanted, Jen. I did this for you. Well, that was not what I wanted at all. So, so please just go, please go. Go. You do what you came here to do. Now, now please just, just go back to wherever. Why would I do that? I like it here. It's scenic. The weather is nice. Plus, there's so many other tasty boys to suck on. Okay. You're not too happy with the idea of me sticking around, and I really don't want you to kill my buzz, so... I'll tell you what, I'll head out for the night, that way no one gets mad, no one has to get hurt. Deal? Awesome. If this really is the last time I'm gonna be hanging out with you guys, I just wanna say thanks for the ride into town. You have a lovely home. It was so nice to meet you, however brief. I'm sure I'll be seeing some of you around. Oh, also, Emma, you really might want to think about walking your doors. It's a college town. You never know what could just waltz in off the streets. Continuing on last week's lecture on Revelations, we come to one of my favorite sections, Babylon. And more specifically, the whore of Babylon meant as a metaphor for sin as a concept, as well as the actual city, which, according to the Bible, was a den of iniquity and evil. You have something to add? Her full name is Babylon the Great, mother of harlots and the abomination of the earth, and it's said that she got her name from the orchestration of the destruction of the city of Babylon itself. We have a fan of revelations, I see. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. It's said that she'll return at the end of ages to bring about the fall of man and sire the apocalypse. Some say she's a metaphor for false idolatry, while others say she exists in present day as the Catholic Church. 
Very impressive. Professor. One moment, Miss Mason, I want to hear this. There are plenty of things that people don't theorize about her, though. Like her role in the fall of other cities. For example, Sodom, Gomorrah. I believe that there are dozens of civilizations that fell by either her hand directly or by the men that she enslaved. Well, I'm very impressed, miss. I'm sorry, I don't believe I know your name. <laughs> it's Lily. Well, Lily. I'd be very interested to know where you got all of this information from. Some of the things you've said I've never heard before. Would you mind stopping by my office later this evening? Absolutely, I'd love to share. Don't forget, I will need your theses on Revelations on my desk by next Monday. Hey. Hi. Um, I just wanted to apologize for last night. I was writing high, and I took things a bit too far. Um, I'm just here to have fun, OK? Brad was your definition of fun? Oh, my god, no. I don't mix business and pleasure. I mean, I guess I do, but um, I'm getting off topic. I want to make it up to you guys. Whatever it is you're selling, we don't want it. OK, then, feisty. Um, can I sell you the midterm paper pushed back a few weeks? Seriously? You kill someone we know, and what, you offer to push back a term paper? I'm altruistic. You'd be surprised at what I can accomplish. No, you know what? You're right, Lily. We should just stay out of each other's ways, OK? As long as you really don't mean any harm. Oh. Um, OK. <laughs> I mean, most people would kill to have the power of hell on their side, but I get it. No hurt feelings, yeah? No. Do you guys think she was serious? About what, getting Hardy to drop a term paper? I mean, who the fuck cares? No, do you think she was serious about wanting to make things right with Jen? I mean, she looked kind of upset. I almost feel bad. Well, <laughs> of course you did. She's supposed to appeal to people like you. What? Men. Well, fuck you. You know what I meant. I just, hey, did you see her face when you turned her down? Well, what, you think I was wrong for having said that? No, no, of course not. I just don't want her flying off the handle because you rejected her. Oh, well, maybe if she hadn't killed Brad, then I would be okay being around her, but I don't know. Every time I look at her, all I see is how happy she was when she was talking about it. It's like it, it didn't affect her at all. Well, she is a demon, and we're kind of stuck dealing with her until we find a solution. Are you just suggesting that we find some way to get rid of her? Emma, she killed Brad. I, I don't know if you remember Brad, but he was kind of an intimidating guy. Charlie has a point. We're kind of in over our heads. I don't know. Maybe it's best if we just stay out of her way, at least for now, and hope for the best. Hello, Professor. Lily, please come in. I'm very uh, interested in knowing how a young woman such as yourself became so well versed with revelations. Well, a lot of that knowledge came from first-hand stories, actually. Excuse me? Those things I was saying about Babylon, first-hand accounts. I'm not sure I follow. Those stories were passed down to me from childhood. You see, Professor, Lily is short for Lilith. The whore of Babylon was my mother.
Looking for some company? I don't that kind of money. I'm not that type of girl. You just look lonely. What type of girl's into this type of guy? Any type of girl you want. That's too low. Um, no, no. Ugh, no, just let me. It's 8 30. You slept through most of the day. Have you been up this whole time? Every minute I sleep is another minute she's out there killing God knows how many people. I mean, I've had the news on Jen. She killed three people last night alone. Dude, you think I don't know that? Every time I close my eyes, I see flashes of what she's doing, I feel what she's feeling. Okay, you've been through every website, you've read every book. You're not gonna find anything else by just rereading over and over again. We can't have been the first people to deal. I mean, there's gotta be something somewhere about how to get rid of her. I'm just, you know, I'm not gonna stop fucking looking until I find a way to get rid of this bitch. Well, the bitch has been pretty busy. Another bizarre and brutal animal attack leaves 28 year old Brian Zimmerman dead in his home. Roommate Mark Clemens claims he was coming home from a late night at work when he found Zimmerman's body lying on the ground. I just assumed he was passed out drunk or something. He does that a lot. Uh, I went to help him up and that's when I saw his face. But we now know that at least- Fuck, can I get a goddamn break? Emma. What am I supposed to do, Jen? What am I supposed to do? It's, it's Brad, it's Professor Hardy, it's that guy. I their blood is on my hands. This is our fault. This is my fault. This is not your fault. You didn't know that this was going to happen. No, that's just it, Jen. I think I did. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know it was going to work. Of course I didn't know it was going to work, but I knew it was going to happen if it did, and I didn't care. In my head, it was going to be fine. I was, I mean... <laughs> I was so curious to see if I if, if I had the know-how to do this, and Kim warned me, and I didn't listen. I'm sorry. I should have known, and if it's any consolation to you, I don't think you could be more pissed off at me than I am right now. Say something, do something. (sighs) 
Hey, what's going on? Oh God, okay, uh, yeah, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, yeah, that was Charlie. Um, Lily is at a frat party and she's super drunk. Which frat? Sigma Epsilon Chi. Great, perfect. We have a drunk lust demon at one of the horniest frats on campus. She tends to kill the people that she fucks and Charlie is there? Charlie, the same Charlie that she's been making eyes at this entire time? We've gotta do something right now. What are we going to do, Jen? What are we gonna do? The only thing we can hope for is some someone roofies her and she's too drugged up to go on a murder spree. Hold on. Uh, does Kim still have all that Ativan under the sink? Yeah, why? Oh. Oh shit, Jen, that's genius. We're gonna have to slut up if we're gonna make this work. Emma. Yeah? When this is all over, that's it for us. She is right through there. If you just follow the line of drooling men, she's uh, yeah. Are you gonna, are you gonna walk? Okay, sorry, excuse me. told me to fuck off. Hey, could I talk to you away from all these people? Oh, that's how it works around here? Now you want to talk? I want to apologize. Well, let me tell you, sweet one. I want to apologize for the way that we acted, but could we do it away from all these very sweaty dudes? I'll make you a drink. Oh. Yeah. Okay, sure. That was that was not cool. No, I'm so sorry. I understand that you didn't mean any harm when you, you know, maimed and ate parts of my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I shouldn't have been a bitch to you for just doing what you love. It's okay. I'm sorry I freaked you out. I didn't mean to. You. I just thought it was what you wanted. I mean, that's what everyone wants when they summon me. But I guess. I should ask before just going ahead and doing it. No, it was totally my fault. I totally shouldn't have assumed that it was gonna be so benign when I summoned a, a demon. Um, I just hope that I didn't ruin our chances of us being cool, you know? No, 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 no. 
know. I hey. just I'm just supposed to be friends. I sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I freaked you out. I didn't um it's just my way of having having fun. No, I know. Which is why we're putting a stop to this before you hurt anybody else. You good? Okay. You help? I can help. Okay. You know? You'll help? All right. You got it, lady? Ladies? She's okay. got it. She's had. She's totally fine. She's had, you know. Okay. <laughs> you know, we all know what that's like. Am I right? I don't know your name. Um, she's no. She's good. They're just. They're just taking her help. Okay. Uh, turn up. What the fuck? Get me the fuck out of here! You're killing people, Lily. Do you honestly think we would just let that happen? That's why you brought me here, you hypocritical bitch. Ugh! What did you do to me? <laughs> Let's see. Dizziness, drowsiness, poor balance, changes in appetite, and oh, loss of libido. I wonder, what good is a succubus without her sex drive? Oh, and uh, FYI, this whole place is closed down for the season, so uh, yeah, enjoy the BO, bitch. You don't really think you can keep me in here, do you? I am a child of hell. And you've managed to really piss me off. I'll give you credit, that's not easy to do. You better hope I stay locked up in here. I know hundreds of ways to kill a person. A few of them you might actually like. I know I will. And as soon as I get out of here, I'll make sure it hurts. I'll make you scream. I'll make you suffer. And then I'll fuck myself with whatever is left. Are we sure that's gonna hold her? I mean, we can't keep her in there forever. Someone's gonna hear her eventually. It's a band-aid until we can figure out a more permanent solution. It'll work for now. Sorry, I think I have some ideas and stuff that's gonna work. You should go do that then. Um, Charlie and I will hit the library, see what we can figure out. Are you sure? Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, no, that's fine. Um, I'll head home, I'll see what I can find, and I'll just call you if I, if I find anything. Uh, what the hell was that about? Come on. Okay, I've been through this shit three times now, and so far all I've gotten is that her pussy would feel like an icebox. There's got to be something somewhere. There's no way that no one ever documented how to destroy something like her. So you're gonna talk about the elephant in the room, or? What? Something happened. It's nothing. Jen, I've been your friend for a long time now, so I can tell that right now you're making your I'm bottling up my anger face. You get these little dimples in your cheeks when you do. Um, what happened with you, Emma? You can't fix everything, Charlie. Maybe not, but I can be here and listen when you clearly need someone to. She knew, okay? She knew what was gonna happen. 
mean, she didn't know if it would work or not, but she knew exactly what would happen if it did. I, I just can't look at her without thinking that she knew what was gonna happen to Brad. Oh my God. I think Kim knew too. I think that's why she hasn't been around. Well, she couldn't have known that it would get this bad, right? I don't care what she knew or didn't know. She put everyone's lives in danger and it got completely out of control. If you don't think that that warrants the cold shoulder no, out. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that things aren't always so black and white, you know? I mean, you and Emma have been friends even longer than I've known you, so if your friendship can survive her coming out, you know, I'm sure it can survive this. Are you equating my best friend being gay with my best friend summoning a murder-hungry sex demon? Right, bad example, sorry. Um, my, my point is, is that, you know, we need Emma here. We're way in over our heads with this, and you know it. Hey, babe, um, I know we're not talking right now for good reason, but I just, I really want to hear your voice right now. I need your help. I'm really sorry. I don't want to fuck a girl who can't dribble anyway. Hello? talking right now for good reason but I just I really want to hear your voice right now I need your help I'm really sorry I thought it'd be both of you who were thinking about me. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, pick up Jenna. Fuck. Charlie, hi. Um, are you with Jenna right now? Okay, can you go get her? Um, I think I might have an idea on how to fix this. Okay, go get her. I'm gonna meet up with you guys. Okay. Okay. Message? I did. I just, I felt really weird about how we left it. I did too, and I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I really didn't mean for anything to happen, and I meant everything that I said. I just fucked things up, and I didn't. It's okay. I'm here now. I don't want to fight like that again. Me either. But you'll be happy to know I did find a solution to our succubus problem. Your what problem? Right, you weren't there for that. Um, I have a story to tell you. Do you want to come inside? Tell 
tell me, what was this plan? Really, you want to discuss this right now? It was wood. It's just, I kind of want to make sure that it's a solid plan before you go ahead and do something stupid again. That's fine, but not right now. so we can talk it out? Yeah, um, just give me a second, Kim. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just, I'm tidying up. Hi. What took you so long? I told you I was just tidying up. I mean, I had books everywhere. I'm trying to solve this whole succubus problem, but... The what problem? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Um, I think I have a solution anyway, so why don't you come inside and I'll show you. Emma called, she thinks she had a breakthrough. Wait, really? Yeah, I, I don't know what it was though, just that it sounded not good. Not that it really matters, give the other bad news. The cops are down at the rec center. They found another student dead inside. Don't say it. They're calling it another animal attack. Jen, she got out. Fuck! What about the, uh, the, the, the mental link or whatever you call it? I don't know, it's like she blocked me out or something. Just give me a second. Okay, we could try Emma's plan, whatever that is. Does she know about this? No, I called her, but she didn't pick up. I have to get over there right now. Uh, what do you want me to do? I don't know. Um. Check in with your fraternity friends. Maybe some of them have seen her. Maybe they could help us figure out where she's gonna be. Charlie, you don't think she's gonna be too pissed, do you? Jenna, she literally said she was gonna fuck herself with our remains. Fuck, this was so fucking stupid. How did we think this was gonna work? Okay, I have to find Emma. Don't feel bad, Emma. I can be very convincing. If it's any consolation, you were actually a really good kisser. Almost made me rethink the whole only having to seduce men part of the job. <laughs> you know, this would be a whole lot easier and less painful if you just told me how you were planning on dealing with me. Tell me now, or I'll rip her tongue out with my teeth. We were looking for a way, a spell, a ritual, something to get rid of you, to kill you, and just... She had nothing to do with it, please. There were only three of us, just let her go and... I don't know, kill me or something. She had nothing, nothing to do Seriously? with it. Seriously? You were just gonna off me?
Ten. No. No. Emma. Emma, no. No, okay. No. Jen, I know this doesn't change the way things are between us right now, but I hope that this will at least put me on the path to making things right. It's a shot in the dark, but it might work. Lily kept going on about you two having a, a connection. I think I might have a way to sever that connection. Jen. You sick bitch. Oh, you got my present? Good. You know, I've never actually tried anything with a girl before, but this little experiment has really opened up my views. I wonder if there's ever been a bisexual succubus. Huh. Anyway, the possibilities this opens up for me, I can just taste it. And speaking of taste, I've sampled almost all of your friends, Jen, except for Charlie. I wonder if he'll be as good in bed as Brad was. Lily, I swear, if you go near him, if you touch him... I'll be sure to let you know. Talk soon, babe. <gasps> Jen, thank God. What, what happened? Did, did you find Emma? Is everything okay? She got there first. Emma's dead, Charlie. And Kim, too. What? She said she's coming for you next. I, I I'm so scared. I'm, I'm so scared. Oh, no, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm right here. It's okay. I just, I couldn't let something bad happen to you. No, it's okay. Nothing, nothing bad is going to happen to me. We're going to be okay. I don't know what I would have done without you. What? What? I don't know. I just, maybe I didn't realize it before or didn't want to jeopardize our friendship. But, Jenna. I love you, Charlie. I think I have for a long time. Oh, Jenna, you're you're not in the mm. Mm. You're not in the right state of mind. The plunger of the pickup. Well, I, sh I should get that. Somebody might have found Lily. Just let it go to voicemail. No, it'll just be a uh, second. <laughs> Jenna. Sorry to disappoint. Damn it! So I lied about who I was. So what? You were all for it just a second ago. Yeah, that was before I knew you were the thing killing my friends. Thing? You really know how to make a girl feel wanted, don't you, Charlie? Can we just get this over with? What are you waiting for? Before we have any fun? I can't kill you just yet, Charlie. I can't kill a man who I haven't played with first. Well, is that the rules for all succubi, or is it just for you? Because you can forget about me ever, fucking you willingly. <laughs> never say never. I can be very convincing. What? You think I was going to have sex with you without your consent? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Maybe. I'm not a monster. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, okay. No. Oh. You're going to fuck me. Because I can be anyone you want. Anything you want. 
I could be taller, older, younger, or maybe something a bit more friendly. It's this face, isn't it? I was right on the money before. You really do love her. She doesn't love you, though. And you'll never have her, so why don't you take advantage of this opportunity? Think about it, Charlie. It'll be exactly like fucking her. Every part of me is her right now. She's part of me. I know what she likes. I could even moan like her. Don't you want to know what it would be like? Jim, like you ever do this for him? You're just throwing the poor guy a bone. This is too much, Lily. I can't let you keep hurting my friends. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jen, enough. Look at me. I'm Jenna. I'm so sweet and pure and innocent. Stop killing people, Lily. It's wrong. You don't think I know who you really are, Jen? That little mental link of ours goes both ways. Sure, you were with me while I was killing Brad, but I was with you too, and you fucking loved it. You gonna deny that too? I wanted to be your friend, Jen, for a reason. Guess that ship has sailed. Oh, don't fucking touch him. Please, you gonna stop me? You're right. Maybe deep down, some sick, vindictive part of me did want something horrific to happen to Brad, and did think that he got what was coming to him. Maybe you and I are more alike than I want to admit. Maybe you taught me something about how to be cold. Look at you finally growing a backbone. Maybe I did teach you something after all. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, this is just embarrassing. <laughs> Jenna, Jenna, Jenna. All of this could have been avoided if you had just stayed out of my way. You're killing innocent people. You killed Emma and Kim. That's right. And now I'm going to kill everyone else you love, too. You made a deal with the devil, you idiot. Did you really think that there wouldn't be any consequences? Of course you didn't. You only thought about yourself. <gasps> Ow. <laughs> when I said I wanted you to penetrate me, Charlie, this isn't what I meant. <laughs> oh! 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 No! Oh! Oh. How's that for roll reversal? Oh. <laughs> what a shame. You're forcing me to break my code.
Kind of broadens your worldview, doesn't it? I mean, demons are real, right? Like, what else is out there? Charlie. No, I'm fine, Jen. Just a couple broken ribs and a perforated liver. I mean, what I want to know is, did you actually kill her, or did you just, like, send her back to wherever she came from? Yeah, I guess we did. It's funny, though. It was like she was inside my head. Like she knew everything that I wanted. I guess... I guess that's how she knew how to make herself look like you. I was wondering, Jen, now that all of this is over, I don't know, maybe you and I could... Are you fucking kidding me? No! Oh.
Thank you, bitch. <laughs>